it's Sally from Who's Mommy and today I'm joined by a very special co-presenter. This is Teddy, she is a Westie and she's three years old and she has a very fuzzy face. So today I'm going to be sharing my five top tips for keeping your dog happy and healthy this summer. Tip number one, make sure you worm your dog regularly at a minimum every three months. Now I'm working with Drontal at the moment to chat about the importance of worming. For us it's a necessity because when we go away for the summer, Teddy, Teddy's not allowed to come. So she goes to, uh, we have a brilliant dog sitter um, who she boards with uh, while we're away in the summer. The only uh, thing that we have to make sure is that all of Ted's vaccinations are up to date and also that she's been wormed. Now it's really important if you've got a dog to worm them every three months, especially if you've got kids in the house because there are certain sorts of worms that can infect children, both for cats and for dogs. Um, one sign that you may spot that your dog needs worming, you know that thing they do where they scoot across the floor and scratch their butt? It's very ladylike. Um, that's a good sign that your dog has intestinal worms. One of the things about worming that you might not know is that actually some of the worms that you're... Oh, did you need a tummy rub? If you're a dog owner, you may well be familiar with the thing that is wrestling, wrestling your dog's jaws apart to try and get the worming tablet in or hiding it. But we tried the Drontol now. They're little bone-shaped biscuits and Teddy is not the pickiest of eaters, it has to be said but generally won't touch anything approaching medication um, unless her, not even if her life depends on it. There have been times when three people have had to wrestle Teddy to get medication into her. But as you can see, the Drontal Biscuit went down brilliantly. Um, so I can't personally testify to how it tastes, but Teddy approved, didn't you Ted? Tip number two, make sure your furry friend stays nice and hydrated. Thirsty? Not yet. So we found at Pets at Home these really fantastic collapsible bowls that go into a small bag. And we always have that with a bottle of water in the boot of the car and a small towel because Teddy loves the beach and she will always find the muddiest, wettest area of the beach to go and soak herself into. Tip number three, look after your dog's skin. We can all get hot and sweaty in the summer, obviously I just glow, um, but dogs also really feel the heat. So we always give Teddy a summer cut and her fur gets trimmed right down. But also because she's a Westie, she is quite prone to itchy skin. There are a couple of things that we found really helpful. We always make sure that if she's been in the sea, we dry her when she comes out and particularly her paws and in between her little fairy toes you can get on the high street in loads of chemists um, a thing called hibiscus scrub and that's a little shampoo that you can mix with just a little bit of warm water and then you wash their pores or wherever's itchy and then rinse it back off and do that just once a day and within a few days you should notice a real improvement my fourth summer tip is making sure that vaccinations are up to date so we always go away for the summer but we do make sure that before Teddy goes to dog sitters because she's not allowed to come on our holiday. Oh, yeah. No. You behaved very badly last time. No offense. Um, so before Teddy goes to her dog sitters we always make sure that all her vaccinations are up to date and that she's been wormed and that she has her flea treatment. And our last tip for the summer is to walk them in the evenings. Go for a walk in the evenings, often in the middle of the day. If you're wearing a fur coat, that's a really hot time to go for a walk. And Teddy, in particular, really, really loves to run. You're a good runner. She's super fast. Um, she doesn't really have a slow gear. She's either asleep or she's licking it like a maniac, pursued by the hounds of hell. So we do make sure to try and walk her a little bit later in the day. It also has the bonus that then she can't steal from small children's picnics. It's happened a few times. Thank you very much for watching our video. Thank you to Teddy for being the best puppy in the world. Yes, you are. No offence to your puppy, but my puppy is the best puppy in the world. So thank you very much for watching. Leave us a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.
Just me now.